tower is under attack. My fangs drift. For this, I My gave fangs. up immortality. You frustrate yourself. Gliding in. You did. Uh, what are other items? Yeah, oh. I guess I'll buy a Die. butterfly. Probably buy S and Y as well. I fly. I fly into a rage. Just make me a bit faster. Movement speed and numbers like that, I don't care about. And you probably shouldn't either. On leathern wings. Swiftly. Yeah, he's gonna go walk out. Shut face. I roam. We can't take this tower solo. I mean, I glide on. Eh, we we might be able to, but we're not going to because I want to teach you guys how to play safely. Attack. So we're gonna get this creep wave, these little meat shields. Death to you. We're gonna tell them to go, and they're gonna Should defend I? our they're gonna defend our lives while we take that mid tower. With malicious intent. Do I want an S and Y? S and Y is a really oh, yeah. stupidly great item. Um, it gives you a lot of good things without making you having to pay a lot of money. Yes. It gives you it, it like uh, for most carries and mids and cores and stuff like that. Uh, S and Y is one of those things that you'll buy. Which one's the real one? That one's the real one. That one's the real one. Your top tower has fallen. Go away, human players. You be immune. I soar higher. Doesn't work like that. In your eye. Sweet salvation. With malicious intent. Your top tower is oh, under yeah. attack. There we go. This tempo is mine. Has fallen. Poison burn. Your top tower is under attack. Nah, I think we're gonna go by the butterfly. That's a good item as well. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like what I've really missed here. Like teaching wise. I fly into a rage. I just realized mid lane isn't really it's probably harder to be a good support than it is to be a good mid laner. Spitting distance. Uh awkward. Indeed. Holy shit. I'm your god. Here it is. Oh wings. <laughs> oh no, I'm about to die. Okay. LOL. We'll be healed back to my full 3000 health before the next Swoop fight. The battle. Swoop the battle. There's one. Holy shit. Thrust my poison works. It's magic. <laughs> so OP, the AI doesn't know how to fight. Forward. Sweet salary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Roshan has fallen to the radiant. As if I needed more of this. But I'll take it. Over. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. kills. Again. I'll just retrieve my arrow. Thrust ahead. Oh, boy. Uh, let's think of mechanics wise. What else I really need to teach you? Um, denying towers is a big thing and that kind of stuff. Uh, 
using my ulti. Ooh, Aghanim Scepter. Let's talk about this item. Let's talk about some items. Let's talk about Aghanim Scepter. Um, whether or not to buy. There are, s like, Aghanims is generally, if... If your ultimate says upgradable by Aghanim Scepter, it's generally a good item to buy. Uh, to buy. Um, I fly into a now, the real question is, do you buy it? Like, when do you buy it? For people like uh, Lion, it's a My big luxury so item. Uh, for most supports, actually, like, it's a massive luxury item. You're not usually going to be buying it really so early on. Um, however, there are other, you know, there are other people who... Are bigger fans of it. Oh boy, can I hit? Yeah, I can hit like 401 <laughs> with me using the maximum flutter. Oh gosh, I should probably, yeah. Oh boy, can I fight the entire enemy team? Answer may surprise you. It is yes. Yes, I can. Uh, now, obviously, this isn't what a normal Dota match will look like for you. <laughs> I am a little bit powerful. Uh, in the sense of, I killed a lot of people. This is what Dota matches sometimes look like for me. This isn't even what they always look like for me. Dire structures are fortified. My rage will The enemy's middle tower has fallen. I glide on. Oh boy, here comes the team again! Here's Round two! In your eye. Oh, yeah. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The acid test. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do something a little bit unorthodox. I'm really bored though. Uh, where is it? So we're gonna go with that, and then I need I need a little bit more gold. I need so little more gold. Okay, let's make this a what not to do video because for anyone that is not me, do not ever buy this item. But like, unless you are having a game like this, do not buy this item. This is a divine rapier. It does 300 damage. If you die, it will drop, Hooray. and anyone can pick it up. However, if okay. you don't die, then you're doing 300 damage. I fly. It's not too hard to see why that's useful. I fly into a is all a gift. Um, if you aren't winning, Sometimes it is an item to buy. Um, you do sometimes hear about the Hail Mary plays. There are some people who also just buy divines. Uh, Rafe King is one. He can kind of... He gets off, though, because he can kind of revive himself anyway. So it doesn't really matter that he can do it. Oh, boy. Um, like for the most, it's one of those items where you shouldn't probably buy it unless you're just really, like it doesn't matter anymore. I could literally lose all of this. I could I could start losing right now and I would still win, basically. Uh, like this, me buying this item, we've, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna suddenly lose us the game. Giving them 300 damage isn't gonna matter, because I would still be able to kill any single member on their squad. 
What's another good item? Because I've already got the amount of money I made back. There we go. Look at that banner fly. Uh, I'll just fight through it. Oh my god! I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. Nor have I ever had a reason to do this. Two rapiers! Double the rapier, double the fun! I was thinking of buying something that would help me, like a Shiva's, but... Man. How did this stop being a how-to video and just become like a how-to wreck everyone? Oh boy. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. The enemy's bottom the enemy's bottom barracks have fallen. Where is it? I wanna I want that I want that sniper. I'm going to come from his high ground and kill him. No! Yes! Back into the fray. Feel the bang! Dire structures are fortified. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Regeneration. Am I gonna be able to buy another divine before I die? Die or before they they lose? Yes, I will. I will. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought this many divines in a game of Dota. Three divines later. I fly. I roam. Swiftly. GG! Well played! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> GG! No! I won! I believe I have a storeroom full of these! Three rapiers later. <laughs> it should. <laughs> Three rapiers! Oh my gosh! Oh, if there was ever a game for me to catch on camera. Um, I was expecting to have to explain a little bit more, but I think between... Like, you, you kind of... You, you, I was able to explain the main topics. Uh, I was able to show off what ganking is good for... Um, rune control, very important. May not seem very important, but it is. Um, because I was able to get the kind of stuff like that, that double damage, which let me just kind of sit there and win a lane and get some farm. I went over last hitting, denying, the opener. Um, some people make it seem very important, it isn't. It isn't terribly important. Um, but you can kind of, you can also kind of see... I feel like this is a better game to kind of show off what will happen if you can follow these kinds of tips. Now obviously I'm I am I, I'm a competent Dota player. 
you know, I kind of know what I'm doing. But if you're in limited heroes and you're playing against other people who aren't as good, um, you know, you're playing with the other kind of new heroes, which you will for the most part be in limited heroes. You heard the guy who said, uh, my buddy's just teaching me kind of like that. So you'll kind of see these, you know, for the most part, you'll be playing against people who are at your same skill level and you'll be able to wail those kinds of tricks on them. So you may be able to play that sniper game where you buy, or that viper game where you buy three divines. If that had gone on for any longer, I would have bought six. <laughs> oh god, I would have six slotted myself with divines. Um, there are better items to buy than divines, I, I think. Uh, I was, what I was actually was, uh, I was about to do is, I was about to do this with uh, an Eye of Scotty, which is a really good, um, it, it, this is a really good thing to have. It gives plus 25 to all attributes, you get some major move slows, you get health and mana, it's a really good item to have. Uh, however, I noticed I had pretty much just enough to buy in a divine, and whenever I can buy a divine, I pretty much do. When I can buy two divines, why not? When I can have three divines and hit for a thousand damage, dear merciful Christ, that was that was a game. What are the tears? Common. Uh, I don't remember what the tears are anymore. Oh, what a game to have recorded. That was that was a, that was a stupid good game. <laughs> Who was the winning team? I don't know. Who has 3 divines on them? Uh, but you can kind of see how important a mid laner can be if you do if you get off to the right start. Getting that farm priority, being able to move around, gank people, make sure... What was it? Like, the sniper wasn't actually doing... The sniper and the Zeus were doing fairly good, actually, up in that top lane together. But I just came up there, wrecked them, and kept on going on a, a killing spree of... Uh, let me see here. I died once, so I went... I mean, that is a KDA that I think COD players would cream at. 53. I think the only way it could have been any better is if it went 53 and and one and zero. What was his items? He had a Manta style. Yeah, he could have built a little bit better. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I had. What the fuck am I talking about? I had 900 damage. I had a flat 900 da like. Hold on. 900 and. 30. Okay, so I had 930 damage. I had a plus 930 damage, not to mention all the damage I had normally. I had a gold per minute of 1,153 and an XP per minute for, of 914. <laughs> Alliance, please accept my registration, or please accept my submission to join team. Why can't that be my gallery of triumphs? Anyway, I hope you guys have learned. Um, let's go over what you guys have hopefully learned here. Uh, a, last hits and denies. This is a big part of being mid. Uh, B, runes, runes, runes. Get them. You want them as much as you can. Because uh, not only do you get them, you deny them to the enemy, which can be really helpful. Uh, C, control the tempo. If you can, if you can get a, an invisibility or a haste rune, you can, or a double damage even, and you can go and you can find a pick off, you know, someone like the the mid or the the main carry, or you can take out the mid hero without any help, or you know, if you can rotate around the map and get things done, that's huge. That's pretty much the goal of the mid laner. Uh, and especially so if you can start getting those and start snowballing off it like I did uh, to a point where you can buy three Divine Rapiers and get away with it. 
uh, congratulations, you are at a very high level of play. Um, odds of it happening? Question mark. But you still get the idea. It would be, you know, it'd be very good for you to be able to do that. Um, another big thing, um, I don't really touch on very much. Itemization. I should probably. I want to do an itemization video. I don't really know how I would do it though. I might do it in like my um. I might. I might do it for a safe lane farming video. Because I feel like safe lane farming. Safe lane farming is a lot about itemization over anything else. Uh, you did see my own custom build. I Viper is the only hero I have a custom build on. I went on a rampage of uh, I I went on a campaign in February uh, cutting huge bloody swaths through Dota players as I played Viper so that is that that is the reason I I'm fairly good at him but I hope hopefully this video has uh, taught you a few things uh, if not yell at me um, anyway I've been DJ Soren here for the Wicked Hour, bringing Dodo some magic and gaming. I just bought three divines, and I think I should probably go sleep or celebrate. Uh, goodbye.